Hello there. Um, oh, sorry about the, uh, <laughs> the eyebrows. Um, oh yeah, I changed my hair. So, got different color of blues. I need to totally condition it. There's dark blues and purpley blues and blue-greens and green-blues. <laughs> anyway, this will be July and August. This will be. But my eyebrows are usually so light and so thin. <laughs> and I don't pluck them. I haven't plucked them for decades, honestly. And, um, I don't know, they used to be... I thought they were bushy, but they just didn't seem to grow back after. <laughs> anyway, um after I plucked them, but, um, I did change the hair color, I bleached, it was white, it was, and, um, and did this last night, and, uh, with the eyebrows, yes, I bleached those, but that's the only time, now in a day, day or so, this all will be, I mean, it'll just be the hairs, because some of this is on the skin, um, and just stains that see my fingers too um because i i i wear gloves for bleaching but i need to feel the hair <laughs> when i'm doing the dyes um the, the vibrance anyway i used to do it when i did box color but that was just all one color it's not like you're feeling for the part you, i can't feel as well through gloves even the silicone strong feeling ones you know that they're not the plastic ones but anyway um, hello. It's been kind of rainy. We had a little bit, oh, we had a big downpour the other day, which I'm glad for. But, um, stop looking at the eyebrows. <laughs> uh, I don't blame you. I mean, I get it. I'm looking in the little mirror. Um, I get that. <laughs> so, give me something to laugh at. Because I just wanted to, I, a lot of people have not heard a song from Colin Ray. He's considered a country singer. And this came out a long, long, uh, well over a decade ago. Um, but I don't think a lot of people have actually heard it because it was, I mean, yanked the first day it was put on the airwaves. It was yanked and it was never allowed back on. And it's not because of cursing. There's no cursing. There's, um, there's no derogatory things. There's nothing, you know, being mean or anything like that. It was, it was the topic, the subject matter. And not that it was a bad one or condoning something bad. It was, it's about child abuse. And he didn't, it wasn't written. He didn't write it so like graphically describing things that wasn't it either and I think the whole point of it was because it didn't have any any of that it didn't have any of it and that's why it was so impactful it's a slow song it's um, using the lower notes so it, it evokes you know, lower notes evoke an emotion of either anger or depression. That's the lower notes do that. Notice it in, in movie or TV uh, movies or even regular movies. Um, their score is throughout the entire movie, really, except for the speaking parts. Um, when they're walking, there's music a lot of times in some movies. That's, the, it was very simple language and it was a very simple picture. But the wor this is where vocabulary and not only knowing to how it, using them, but understanding them. Um, people use like the word nice, but there are the thesaurus. It, there, it tells you so many other words to use for nice or good or scared, um, she was shaking, how about trembling, you know what I mean? 
and he uses the most perfect and common words. But the way he arranges it, the way he delivers it, the way his voice, you feel like you feel him. And that's one thing about Colin Ray. The songs I've ever seen him heard, he's singing that song. He's not just singing that song. Every time he sings Little Red Rodeo, he's there singing it. He's there with you. Now, I got to see him when I lived in Tucson. Um, there was a country, well, it was a country and a, and a, and a rock bar. Um, and, uh, there was one, one area was rock and the other was country. Um, they had an out, well, they had just made an outdoor pavilion on the back of their, on the back of their, um, building. They got that lot. They were finally able to acquire it. They actually made it into a big, like an outdoor concert. Area. I mean, we're not talking millions of people. We're talking thousands, <laughs> you know. And I have not gone to that many concerts just because I either didn't have the money for the ticket or I didn't have somebody to go with. Um, and, uh, and I didn't have a working vehicle at the time or whatever when something came up. So I've been to a few. Um, George Strait I've been to. Neil Diamond I've been to. Um, Colin Ray. He was the very first concert to be done in that outdoor pavilion. Now remember, it's Tucson in the evening, so it's beautiful out. And I wound up getting to be able to be on the ground in front of the stage, actually. Um, not way back. I, I managed somehow to get get just there. So, um, and I was alone. So, but I lived in Tucson, and he was in Tucson. And uh, the end of the concert was coming. And this had recently, you know, in the last year or so, had been... Um, released and then yanked that same day this song uh from the airwaves and um but quite a few of us had already heard it we'd already heard it before it got yanked that half a dozen times it got played we heard it and we heard it on his album after that because he did release it on an album um i'm saying a lot of albums because I'm in memory mode right now. And I was up towards the front, not right up in front, but close enough that when you got some pictures of the stage, you didn't get the whole stage when you held your camera up. You know what I'm saying? It was a section, so it was close enough that you couldn't just in one frame get the whole stage. Um, and it was coming to the end, so you could tell and we were all screaming 11th commandment 11th commandment because that's the name of the song the 11th commandment colin ray c-o-l-l-i-n-r-a-y-e colin ray and or c-o-l-i-n i'm not sure i think there's one l but i've seen it with two um and he didn't want to leave you know, because he had done his song, and he had done it, the first encore, and we were still screaming, the live the commandment. And he said, I don't want to sing that and leave you people. It's a triggering song, is the thing is. That's that's why it was pulled so, so much, so quickly. Because it's done in such a way, you'd have to be inhuman for it not, for it not to affect you. And uh, people were getting triggered from PTSD that, you know, who've been abused as children or just sexually abused or whatever. And, um, 
and he's, he kept saying, I don't want to end the concert on, on that song, you know, I don't, I don't want to. And we were all just, I mean, literally begging him <laughs> until he finally gave in. They were talking amongst themselves, you know, up on stage. And he came back to the microphone and we all got quiet. He's like, shh. And he says, we will play it, but we're not going to end with it. Which meant we were going to get another song. A very up song, most likely. And the hush that fell over that crowd, even the drunks. Like I said, it's a slow song. I can't, I'm not going to play it here. I don't, I haven't learned yet how to do like commenting on something or, you know, showing you something in the thing. I'll learn. I'll learn. I'll learn. But, um, I will, I'm going to read the lyrics to you in a moment. And, uh, I know I'm doing a lot of silent, silent space here, but I'm going to cry when I read them. I'm going to try not to cry when I read these to you. Um, you all, everybody, everybody should hear this song at least once. Um, you know, the Ten Commandments, the Bible, it can't be all perfect because they left out, don't hurt your children, don't hurt animals. You know, they, they didn't say don't hurt your children. They just said honor your father and your mother. What about honoring your children, you know? So, just saying. Okay, let me put my glasses on and I'm gonna read and I will tell you what is the chorus. It's very slow, and it's got the boom, 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 boom. That's how it starts. So it's already like, oh. She hears his heavy breathing in the dark, his footsteps coming closer down the hall. She's so ashamed she's daddy's secret love. She wants to cry. She wants to die, but he can't get enough. The bruises on his face won't go away. Mom keeps him home from school till they fade. He takes it in, hangs his chin, he ducks another blow. This is the chorus. Did God overlook it, what ought have been written? The eleventh commandment, honor thy children. Verse again. He cries for hours cries and never stops. He shakes so hard his little cradle rocks. He'll never have the chance to be brand new. He'll never walk, he'll never talk. He's addicted to. Chorus, did God overlook it? Would ought have been written? The eleventh commandment, honor thy children. And then he's honor thy children. Boom, boom, boom. Honor thy children. Boom, boom, boom. So, um, I mean, on the face of it, it's short. There's nothing wrong with the words, what they said. And yet, it was pulled from the airwaves. And you can see why. You can see why. Who knows, somebody's going to get triggered someplace they hear it in an elevator on the way to an important, important meeting or appointment. They can't be having a trigger attack because of a stupid couple minute song, you know? And I say stupid in the context. So, um, yeah. I highly, highly recommend. It's right here on YouTube. Just uh, type in Colin. I believe it's C-O-L-I-N, no, no, not a double L. Um, C-O-L-I-N-R-A-Y-E, Colin Ray, 11th Commandment. 
You could type it in like 11th or 11th as the word command. Um, the title of the song is 11th spelled out. So, didn't mean to leave you on that happy little note. <laughs> um, but I just think, I have just been reading a plethora of stories lately, current stories, reading just what's going on around the world, not just politics. And there are so many child abuse cases in court right now, or happening right now, um, all over this world. And, uh, and yes, I know firsthand, my mom was undiagnosed bipolar and she wasn't diagnosed until we were adults, you know, and, uh, you know, <laughs> shit happens to people and it's not like she had a happy unicorn rainbow rosy uh, childhood either, so, and neither did my dad. So as he got to an adult, I, I realized they did the best they could with the situation and the knowledge at the time. So, um, unless they're incredibly cruel, you know, like Frank, like that Frankie situation or any of that stuff, unless they're it's, I mean, obviously abusive. People, you know, don't know, realize you can be abusive and uh, verbally abusive. Now, it's not just physical abuse, verbally abusive, how you, and emotionally abusive, um, telling people they're worthless or ignoring them and brushing them off all the time. That kind of shit's abusive to a child, to a growing mind. And it fucks up and skews the way the brain comprehends and, and processes things. When it sees one thing, but the people that are you, are supposed to love you and want the best for you are telling you that's not the true way. This is the way we do things are done by everybody. They're lying to you. That fucks up your head, you know? You keep doing that to somebody or, or not giving them any praise and just always criticizing and never praising, that messes up your head, okay? It does. It messes, it messes up a lot. And those are not scars that heal, like physical, well, some physical wounds, um, some physical injuries, some don't heal. <laughs> And, um, I just, I just wish more people would hear it. I understand why it's not on the airwaves because you can't have people getting triggered just in their daily lives without being prepared for it, you know? But at the same time, it's exactly why people everybody needs to hear it exactly why so maybe it'll keep you from doing that them um so have a great day <laughs> i'm sorry wiping up all these tears <laughs> um and with these eyebrows i'm sure that looks <laughs> fabulous <laughs> So, yeah, I figured when I was wiping off, washing off the dye on the eyebrows this morning, I was like, because I didn't, I forgot my eyebrows last night. I was too tired, and I didn't want to get them even, believe me, this is pretty good. So I'm telling you, uh, 
and I didn't want to have to mess with blue around up here, you know. So I just did it this morning because it doesn't take it, it's just eyebrows. But <laughs> I saw the stain, I'm like, and if I rub really hard to get the stain off the skin part, it's going to rub <laughs> on the hair of the eyebrow. So I don't want to do that. So I mean, in a shower, it'll come off easy. I'll wash my face a time or two, it'll come off. Um, but I'd rather do it that way than, like, deliberately trying to rub off and getting some on the hairs. So, um, <laughs> I looked at this morning, I'm like, well, this is just ridiculous. And, uh, I've been wanting to make you guys aware of, um, this song for a very long time. And I just was never either in the mode, and if I was in the mode, I looked like a wreck, and I'm not going to do that to you. It's not vanity. You don't want to see somebody that's looking like a freaking wreck, okay? <laughs> I mean, at least my hair is combed and, you know, well, the bed is made. It's just, you mess around with your kitty cats, you ruffle them up, and you mess shit up. <laughs> um, and if I fix it every time, it would be forever fixing it, so... Two or three times a day, I'll straighten it out. This is not one of them. <laughs> but yeah, so I figured since my eyebrows look so absolutely ridiculous, maybe, maybe doing this very, um, very weighty topic with something with a little more softening the blow a little bit for those that might get triggered. I don't want to soften the blow to anybody that needs to hear it or needs to know they're not alone when that happened to them. We are aware and we do care. Some of us do. Even if we don't know you, I care. If you were screwed around with when you were young and growing up, I care. Because that matters and it matters how you perceive things the rest of your life. So yeah, I care. Yes, I know. My hair is... <laughs> my hair is the color. It's the peacock colors. Um, as you know, those are my my two boys and me represent. So, my color is purple. My spirit sun's blue. And my earth twin sun is green. So, I used to... My, my favorite color was blue. I know I'm on a tangent. My favorite was blue for, like, growing up. Then, in my... 20s. I was like, I like green too. So it was blue and green. A couple uh, decades ago, I was like really gravitated towards purple as well. And um, so it's kind of been like my, my trifecta. And I did not realize till after my one twin son um, ran ahead that the three of us together are actually peacock colors. <laughs> Um, but yes, all joking aside, trying to lighten up a little bit, because humor is always good in, um, high, high, um, emotion situations, and <laughs> doesn't matter if it's anger or PTSD, panic attack type thing, so that I'm leaving you with a laugh, but I still am not detracting from the um <laughs> the vitalness we'll say the urgency of not only being aware yourself but be aware if there's anybody that you can help get out of that situation um without damaging them more and if you don't if you experienced it yourself and you haven't gotten help or aren't getting some help to unfuck up your mind, your perspective and you need to do it every Wednesday every Wednesday at 11.15 I'm on my teletherapy barring something for you her or me not being able to do it that week but it's important Mental health is important. 
and a lot of times it's stuff that you didn't put yourself in that position per se to have what happened and whatever it was and then have your head try to freaking deal with it for the rest of the time you're on this earth in this body um very nice they get to go do all the damage and you know years later maybe say i'm sorry and it's done it's not done for the person that was the receiver it is never done so if you're watching and you're somebody who was the perpetrator of that sort of thing just telling you the facts from somebody that was like your victim sorry is all good and fine but you did damage that somebody else has to spend their time and energy and money on correcting what you did and you don't have to spend any of that time money energy lossing loss of sleep attack none of that is your is your future you can just go off and i said i'm sorry i apologized yeah but you can't fix it. I want you all to remember that. You do shit like that to people. Even adults. Sorry is good. It's a start. But it doesn't fix everything. If you hurt somebody. Or messed up their name with a rumor or something. Sorry is a good start. And so sorry is vital. But. But. It doesn't make it all better at all. Just remember that. You have a great day. I'm not sure if we're going to get rain or not today. And neither did this, the report late last night. So enjoy. If you get rain, enjoy it. <laughs> the earth needs it. <laughs> well, at least we need it here. I guess people that are in flooding areas probably right now don't see it the same way again perspective but we've been in the middle of we we had a heat advisory again last yesterday and the day before just like that heat dome up there in that humidity like 59 60 percent humidity 93 degrees it's like uh, i've got the windows open now but we'll have to go see what the weather report says so i'm gonna go do that and the kitties are in their nap time. Their third nap time. <laughs> so maybe I can go get something done. <laughs> anyway, have a great day. And just think about it. And if you're not the person that does this sort of thing, now you know a song when you do find somebody who does it. I just... I just really want you guys all to listen to that song. Do it when... And I've, warn, I've given you the warning necessaries. Um, just know what kind of song it is. Okay? I have some tissues ready. And hopefully... Tomorrow, these eyebrows won't look so comical. <laughs> I can't believe. And now I'm actually going to upload this. And <laughs> I don't care. That's so funny. It's come a long way. Oh, there you go. That just reminded me. For all you little Karens and Kevins and little trollies down there in the comments right there. Yeah, right there. <laughs> See how much I care about what your comments, your little trolly comments about my hair. You see how much I care about what you think? I'm going on camera with my eyebrows still stained. I don't care. So... Waste your time and make your little 
obnoxious comments, but nobody's forcing you to watch my videos. And every time a troll watches my video, you're helping me. And when you come back to another video, and you comment, and you keep commenting, that's, that's just helping me. So pretty much, if you're trolling and giving obnoxious comments, not only does it not bother me, <laughs> but it's probably helping the algorithm. So keep on. <laughs> and if you're too obnoxious or rude, you can just not bother seeing my channel. <laughs> You guys have a great day. Peace out, guys. Where is that? <laughs>